Hello everyone. <clears throat> okay, in this video, I want to go over rho echelon form and reduced rho echelon form of uh, matrices. And uh, I'll uh, first go over the conditions and then do some examples. So for you to understand when you look at a matrix, how you know if it's a, in a rho echelon form or reduced rho echelon form. <clears throat> first, one is rho echelon form. So these are three conditions. So let's go over this one by one. Any rows consisting entirely of zeros occur at the bottom of the matrix. Number two, for each row that does not consist entirely of zeros, the first non-zero entry is one, and we call that the leading one. Number three, for two successive non-zero rows, the leading one in the higher row is farther to the left than the leading one in the lower low row. So these are the three conditions for row echelon form. Now, what is reduced row echelon form, or we call that RREF? That's a matrix in row echelon form. So remember, to have reduced row echelon form, the matrix has to be in a row echelon form. A matrix in row echelon form is in RREF. And again, that stands for reduced row echelon form. When every column that has a leading one has zeros in every position above and below its leading one. Let's go over some examples so we can understand this better. Number one, we have this matrix. So if you want to check, well, we don't have a row entirely of zeros, uh, but uh, let's see if we have our leading ones, like condition number two. Yes, we do have the leading ones. So it's one, one, and one, and each row starts with a one. So this is in row echelon form. Now let's see if this is reduced row echelon form. We said when we have leading ones, we have to have one and zeros in the, the remaining entries of that column. So here we have one, zero, zero. So that works for this one. Here we have a leading one, but the top number is not zero. It's two, so we can stop right there. So this is not reduced row echelon form. Just to remember when you have that, you call this, this is a pivot column. So remember that term, it will be helpful uh, when you solve systems or in the future. Now let's look at number two. Number two has a row entirely of zeros. However, this, not, this is not in the bottom of the, of the matrix. This had to be here. So this is not a row echelon form. And of course, it's not gonna be a reduced row echelon form. Number three, <clears throat> no rows entirely of zeros, but let's uh, check our uh, leading ones. Yeah, we have a leading one here and the one after that is to the right of this one and so on. So this is reduced row echelon form. In, <clears throat> no, this is row echelon form. Let's see if this is reduced row echelon form. Right away we see it's not because here we have one and the top number is two and it's not zero. Number four, so let's uh, check we have a row entirely of zeros and that's in the bottom of the matrix. So that works. Then we have our leading ones. And again, the leading one, if you start from here, the other one is to the left of uh, the first one. And the last one is to the left of uh, this second one. So this is a uh, row echelon form. Let's see if this is reduced row echelon form. Yes, we have one leading one and the rest are zeros. Here we have a lead, re leading one and these entries are zeros. Here we have a leading one and the other entries are zeros. So this is a reduced row echelon form. And don't forget, we're gonna be using this term in the future lectures, RREF. Number five, so we, do, we don't have a row entirely of zeros, which is okay. We have a leading one here that works, but if you go to the other one, that's a two, and it doesn't start with one. So this is, can stop right there. So this is not in a row echelon form. 
Last one, number six, <clears throat> a row entirely of zeros in the bottom, so that works. Then we have a leading one here, and we have another leading one here. We have a column fully out here, but that doesn't mean it's not a uh, row echelon form. So this is row echelon form. If you want to see if it's reduced row echelon form one, and we have the other two entries are zeros, and we have our leading one, and the other two are zeros. So it is reduced row echelon form or RREF. This uh, is a short video, but uh, it's going to help you a lot for the next lecture. So please watch this couple of times. Uh, so especially if you do the homework, when you solve system, it's going to be very helpful. I think that's it for this video. Uh, thank you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.